Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week I've got a well pump that has ceased to be. Um, turn it on, it's just humming, nothing happening. It's not turning. And uh, I've been told that it can't be repaired by a local workshop who specialises in pumps. So, I'm going to have a go at it myself. And they say it's a sealed unit and it does look fairly sealed but at this end if you notice there's a threaded part here and this looks like it unscrews but it needs a special tool as you see the end of it's got notches in it there's four notches and what I was thinking of making a special tool for this so I've got a piece of uh, steel, a bit of scrap, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cross that will fit in there. It's got a uh, thing in the centre there, which is holding it proud a little bit. So we'll see if that comes off, and if it doesn't, we'll uh, do something else with it. But anyway, that looks like it would make a reasonable thing, so long as it goes all the way in it would make a reasonable wrench to open that up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend that piece of steel around this uh, piece of steel pipe that I've got use this as a former I keep these, I've got a couple of these different sizes to form circles and things like that and this is almost the right size there for that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this up around that make a cross with a bit of extra steel to go through there and there weld it all together and put a big um, bolt or a nut on it so that I can put a socket on it and turn this hopefully get inside it and see what's going on so there you go that's the plan for today We'll see how we get on. Right, I've got my little die set up in a vise and I've got it clamped in there with a pair of mole grips and that's actually clamping my piece of steel to it so I'm going to bend it round. I'll just have to beat that a little bit where the holes have been drilled because it is a bit of uh, scrap. But I go most of the way around like that take it out the vise and swap it round so I haven't got much room around this vise got the cloth around the edge so I don't walk into it just put that round there I'll put that round there and I'll walk all the way around it that's it that'll need a bit of uh, titivation where the holes have been drilled but that's okay change the position of the grips there put it back in the vise and this time I'll overlap it slightly like that so it's like the coils of a spring so I've just up overlapped it like that what I'll do now is put another set of grips on it put that over the top of that like that and I shall put a set of grips on it and then what I'll have to do is cut it get this first of all square like this there we are I'll put some grips on that on this side like 
that and we'll cut it here and then weld it beautiful now I've got a ring which is slightly bigger than what I need and if I put it in the vise I can probably close the gap and tighten the vise like that with a gentle tap with a tap stick to get it level and this will just weld that across there that welded just need to get rid of the slag off this well, improvise there's the slag off and quick wire brush let that cool and carry on with the next project next part of the project I'll just cut these cut some scrap up trim the end off like that nice and warm ah. right let, let both those cool down we've got both cut and uh, once they cooled a little bit because they're a bit too hot to measure up and do things with uh, I'll mark them up and we'll more or less cut them halfway through in two places grind the little piece out in the centre so they fit together in a cross and then I can weld it up ok that's got that almost cool, I've cut these two as you can see you just can cut a slot in the centre like that so that they fit together in a cross and put these in here they fit somewhere around here tap them with a tap stick Get the old tap stick out that'll do all it needs now is a little bit of weld on each uh, each corner to hold it together I'll just put it on the outside there and just weld up the centre then we need a, a big nut or a bolt of some sort to fit on there so I can put a socket on it the idea is it fits on there like that and I can turn it with a big spanner that's the plan and if we get on and weld that
Right, big nut. That's what I need now. As soon as that fits on the hole. Right, I found a, a nut and I weld it on and that is what we've got as a special tool to get this apart. Now, the ring that I need here is slightly bigger so it does fit on there. Uh, the problem is on the bottom of this thing we've got this thing, I don't know if it comes off but it's holding it away from going in the slots so the worst case scenario is I grind away the centre of this so it fits around this or I lever that off and yes it comes off, it's a little flippy thing so yeah that's good and then oh, that fits nice now right to the bottom well almost and I can put a socket on there as long as I've got this held in the vise somehow I'll be able to unscrew the end and we'll find out what's going on with this thing so like my granddad used to say if you haven't got one make one it's a bit rough and ready because it's made out of bits of scrap I'm sure it will work there'll be something to keep in the box because uh, it might come in handy for something else I doubt it but it might do and of course I might have to work on this again anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this till next week uh, now I've made this uh, special tool and we'll find out what's wrong with this thing next week and we'll take it all apart so this will be part one and part two we'll be seeing what we can do with this um we'll switch it on next week and see let you hear what it's doing because it's not doing anything apart from humming but you don't have to take my word from it i'll switch it on and if i can get a microphone close enough to it you'll hear it and then we'll see if we can fix it anyway um thank you very much for watching this week uh, not quite what I wanted to do because I've had loads of other things to do today which I didn't want to do I wanted to carry on with this but uh, such is life uh, so this was uh, was going to be a complete video about taking this apart but it didn't happen anyway next week promise that will be done anyway thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye now.